weeks. Oh god, that's a long time. Hopefully nothing bad happens. We're gonna cross our fingers. Hopefully nothing terrible happens. That gives us an event. You know, plus five. That would suck. I have to revoke things from them and they hate me for that. Yeah, I have to take away uh, this province of Amsterdam. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Amsterdam, you know, the important one. The capital of the Netherlands when we form the country, I believe. I think that's what happens. Country changes in the Netherlands. We get new missions. Permanent claim on low countries. Netherlands. Uh, changes to duchy. Okay. Permanent claim on Picardy and Valonia. Low countries. Obtain new missions. No longer part of the HRE. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, whatever. Sounds good. This is really important for us right now. Um, in fact, let's check on something. If we take this, no one cares. Literally no one. 7% overextension. And 10 aggressive expansion. Yeah, literally no one cares if I take this. Well, not no one, but like approximately zero people. Maybe like Cologne. Colonia, maybe. I think that's it. Like, I think that's really just it. Oh, Utrecht has become an electorate. What happened to the other electorates? I only have seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. What happened to the other ones? I have no clue, and maybe I will never find out. But yes, give me your measly 15 ducats. The most important part is to, is to trade, obviously. There you go. Thank you for your patronage. I am happy that Munster is now deceased. Uh, I should probably dissolve that alliance, actually, because they're useless to me now. Yeah, they're approximately useless to me now that I have Castile and France as allies, which is... I'm still not even sure how this happened, but it works, and I'm okay with it, so... Yeah, whatever. Decrease the maintenance. Yeah, 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 we're good. Unrest, how much? 10 in Ustfriesland. Oh, they changed the name of it. Okay, yes, because culture and stuff. Right, and then there's going to be unlawful territory. It's going to say, hey, give it back. It's going to give it an increase 10. You know, assuming that they're actually going to ask for it back. Did I unmuffle that? Oh, I did unmuffle that. I feel dumb. Yeah, okay, go there. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go there. I'm so bad at managing my clicks. Okay, there we go. Uh, you guys still have that. Go and protect trade in Lubeck. Thank you. Going to own a little bit more of this trade node now. 20%? Ah, oh, that's really, really good, actually. We own about 20%. Yeah, okay, that's good. It's really good for a couple of reasons, because England gets less trade and we get more trade. Those are the two good things. What is what is wrong here? You have increased autonomy. Okay. Here's what we're going to have to do. High trade income... Oh, give an extra 5% because we have high trade income. Oh, that sucks, dude. Okay. This is what we're going to have to do, and I don't like it, but we have to do it. So, goodbye to your stuff there. Local power vacuum will give local unrest increase and a couple of bad things that we don't like. Oh, it's not actually going to be an issue, though. We're going to get less trade, though. That sucks. Next month, we're going to get like significantly less trade. Yeah, ooh, 3%. That sucks, man. It really, really does. It's fine, though, because I think gaining Oost Friesland will actually end up giving us more in the long run. And personal ability. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course we want to do that. We have three age objectives now. We can technically start the golden era, but why would we do that when, you know, we could probably save it for later. And then later, you know, later again. And then just keep on delaying it until the end of the game. And then you just never do it. That's yeah, whatever. In the meantime, though, aggressive expansion is probably our best thing to go with since we do have a fair amount of money we don't need the war tax as much as we need people to not hate us i think i think i'm doing this right in my head it works out so maybe it does burgundy savoy and ferrara um france is already at war with burgundy i mean technically i can probably do something sneaky here i can probably take it only because france is going to weaken them but i don't want to you know get myself caught in a war that i can't end up fighting and, you know, this isn't Holy Four, you can't ask to join the war. Although it is a, uh, Burgundian Provincial, uh, you know, excommunication war. They'll, they'll still end up getting, a, like, a truce with them, but it won't be very long, so maybe I can just wait that out. Ask them to go to war with them again. 
probably your best option for getting Breda. As for Jellera, um, Flanders and Trier. We still have a couple of years left, three years. We can probably start that soon. You know, eventually. We can't really afford another advisor, though. Okay, never mind. Our trade is making us 3.29 ducats. So wonderful, that's what I thought it would. Slightly damaged, but you guys aren't doing what I thought you would do. Okay, that's fine. Um, Slightly damaged usually means slightly damaged. I mean, it'd be great if you'd, you know... Listen to that. Thank you. Slightly damaged does indeed mean exactly what I say it means, so please do that when I need you to. Oh man, Barban's getting its, its fleet deleted. Defleeted. Okay, that was bad. That was terrible. Little Run Empire, like there's a Platinate, the Palatinate. I think I might be saying that correctly this time, which is strange actually. The Palatinate. That sounded more Italian than anything. Oh, whatever. Ruthless me? Of course not. What? That's crazy. I only invaded, like, four small states over the course of, like, less than 30 years. Don't worry about that. It's not like I'm getting everyone to 50 aggressive expansion or anything. No, 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 no. Of course not. That would be a terrible, terrible idea. Oh god, you guys have a... Utrecht is part of a... Wait, hold on. Utrecht, Utrecht, Utrecht. Hold on, wait a second. I forgot you guys existed still. I forgot I only took, you know, your actual Utrecht from you and not... Oversteeks. Is it war with them? Uh, I don't know, but that's a lot of people that they can go to war with. Frankfurt, Brunswick... Uh, Brons Brunswick? Würzburg and Trier. Okay. Okay. You can probably get the next one. Manpower recovery speed increase. Oh wow, that's actually really good, surprisingly. Again. Okay. Us Friesland is now part of the patrimony. Uh, we could probably turn this into a core, actually. Wouldn't make as much money, though. Uh, the Netherlands that won't make as much. Frisia could end up making us a fair amount, actually. Not yet, because there's, you know, high autonomy, like super high autonomy, actually. So not yet, but eventually. Manpower's looking fine. Treasury's looking fat. Very nice. Cologne looking tasty. Just mains over here is the, uh, the only thing I would have to deal with. I, I gotta say it, you know, I don't think you guys are really worth my time. Um, sorry, Munster. It'd be like that sometimes, right? So... I'm sure you understand. I'm sure you understand. Um, I still have this truce with you. And you're getting more allies. I don't like that. France will not help me because they're in another war. Still will not help me because it's, you know, fighting another war. It's far away. Mostly because it's far away. Because even if those two things didn't exist, they would still be too far away, so they wouldn't help me. Okay. Okay, Castile. Have it your way, then. So I wonder if France is going to end up taking stuff from them. Um, somehow... Oh, right, because their capital still exists. Oh, I understand that now. Uh, Provence is actually growing, which is slightly concerning. I'm not going to question it, but slightly concerning. France looks like they're going to get something done here, take a little bit of land, maybe. They're going to siege Barois back down, eventually. It's going to take a while, but I'm sure they're going to do it. Late arrival against Flanders, okay. From the Dutch nation, I really want to do this at some point. It's going to take a while before we get the admin tech for it, but I want to get the provinces, make sure they're secure before we end up doing that. So after our good old quantity will come our exploration, no doubt about that. Just a matter of time when it happens. Might take a little bit of time, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done, no problem. The reason I took... Uh, I'm sure I already explained the reason I took having a number of men first, but essentially, if you're going to start colonizing, you want to have people to send over while still having people to stay back. So, that's sort of, you know, what I was thinking when I was taking quantity first over uh, 
exploration. Also, because we're in the situation where we don't have much colonial range, and eventually we're going to get that at level 7. And level 7 is probably right around where we're going to get our next tech as well. So that's going to boost our colonial range to the point where maybe we can reach an island, because as it is right now, having colonial ideas won't help us at all. Or uh, exploration, I mean. Because we can't actually reach anywhere to colonize. So there you go. It's a bit of a waiting game. I think that was the best route I could have gone for. I'll sort of, you know, I'll, I'll ponder on it later. Think if there was a better option I could have gone with. But that's what we're going to do. Diplomats, what do I want you guys? You guys should be doing something. Oh, right, you know, people that hate me, that's, uh, that's important. Mm-hmm. Might be important to fix that. Having people, you know, despise me is not a great thing to, to have, right? So, whoa, what's going on in France? Um, I don't know what's going on there. How many armies? What's going on here? 21,000 with France. And... Oh, I'm scrolling down pretty far. Did I pass them? I must have passed them. I must have passed them, yeah. Definitely passed them. Okay, um... Burgundy. Uh, am I, like, forgetting what you guys look like? I'm certain I remember it. Burgundy, you guys are the... Yeah, it's the one supposed to look like the Spanish flag. You know, what the one actually looked like in real life. That's what I thought. Am I passing it like six times? Oh yeah, I am passing six times. Okay, you guys just have no one. That's that's fine. So it looks like France might end up winning this one. Well, Provence, I suppose. Because Provence is the one who's going to be taking stuff. So being excommunicated somehow, um, managed to gain them land. Because Burgundy couldn't do it. With France's help. On the side of the Provenceans? Side of Provence? I'm just going to say that, whatever. Uh, trade power sound, or trade efficiency sounds good. Money right now is not a problem, but gaining more money in the long run would be pretty good. Uh, there we go, docks. Next, we're gonna end up. Oh, hmm. The Heretzko Comborando Act. Okay. Catholicism gains desire. We get more money. We get missionary strength. That sounds good. Do we want to change our religion? Religion? We might want to do that. Depends on how strong the Reformation is. We could probably make it stronger. Whoa. Okay, yes, uh, we have a very, very good um, duchess now. Oh, I love her. She's so good. I love this duchess. Okay, she's very, very nice. Um, in Friesland, we're going to get a couple of revolts. Okay, oh, wow. Simon Bullsward, you guys can walk. You, you can walk, and that's about it. Can you do, like, anything else? Probably not. Oh, wow. He can walk, but he can fight a little bit better. That's depressing. Let's take it. He had infantry combat ability, but he was also garbage. I don't, I don't know, man. Okay, so the the helpful thing about event... Ooh, civil war. Oh, no. Oh, god, legitimacy is bad. Okay, um, lots, lots of bad things are going on here. Okay. Decreases because negative stability. Oh, shoot. You're right. Okay, we need to fix this. Need to get burst ability. Oh, okay, wow. This is gonna be a. Oh, this is a wow. Who just rivaled me? Um, Brabant. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Is this war over? I think it is, because it looks like it's over. <gasps> oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, this is good. This is now good. Okay, We're get, I'm getting a rush of emotions between good things and bad things. There are a lot of good things going on, but also a lot of bad things going on. Please don't pop before the end of the month. Please don't pop before the end of the month. Please don't pop before the end of the month. Thank you, okay. So the way that these events work is that essentially they're going to pop eventually. So, like, you can just sort of wait. There you go. This will do is... I mean, supposedly it's supposed to give us more of an advantage for a couple of reasons. You guys have more morale. Why? Because you're Dutch pretender rebels. Gives you more morale. I don't know how that works, but whatever. And I didn't stack wipe you. Okay, I'll stack wipe you now. There you go. Alliance from Burgundy. No. No. Just... No. 
Sound good? I mean, just no. So, no. Yeah. Just no. What match with these guys, though? Because they're cool. Personal union or monarch death. Um, that really rarely ever happens. Looming disaster. Yeah, I can, no, I can fix that at some point. Increase that down a bit. Maybe not all the way down. We want to get some some troops flowing back into the into the pool of troops. I don't know. I guess we guys going back into the army. Personal union again usually doesn't happen. It'll be succession war between France and Castile, wouldn't it? Or maybe just France and I don't know who. Probably France. I made the royal marriage with them first. So, on monarch death, succession war between France and Castile. Wonderful. Henri de Valois succeeds the throne. Yep, that would create a personal union, wouldn't it? They can fix that. Well, actually, I can't fix that. The game's RNG will probably fix it for me. I mean, she's young, right? She's 27. Yeah, she's young. That's fine. It's it's fine, probably. I'm going to be really upset if it isn't fine, actually. Lose admin. Lose ducats. Lose splendor. Oh, my God. Okay, if this lasts for, like, two months, one month, actually, we're going to do it. But first, we're going to do that. Boost that. Then decrease that. Put us in the negative, but at least we're not in, you know, the negative stability. There you go. A little bit of a spicy trick there. Now, in the meantime, we're going to have to strengthen the government because we don't want bad things to happen to us. Like a civil war. Um, It's just going to sit there for a while until we have higher legitimacy. That's fine. It's not going to be an issue. Probably. Probably, I'm saying, because... It might come back in the end if we drop stability again. But it's it, I can probably fix it when that happens. I can probably fix that. Now, never is just sort of exists there. I can also see that uh, Provence got, you know, nothing out of the deal. So, I mean, that's typical. Is that Poland? Oh, wow, okay. Castile's having its own problems. That's wonderful. Now, you guys do technically owe me things, France. But you won't do it because something would destabilize them because you guys technically have a truce for a long, long time. Oh my god. I don't have a truce with you, but now you've taken so many... So many allies now, including my old ally of Munster, who has somehow regained two provinces, probably through revolts. That's what I'm guessing was what happened there. Right, so that might have gone and bit me a little bit. 2023, they don't like me anymore. I'll fix that. Oh, nice, free manpower. I like free manpower. Personal union looming over me? Yeah, that's that's fine. Good diplo rep, though. Don't know what I'll use it for, but it's there. Oh my god. Gave me a small heart attack, and I'm sure it should have given me a larger one. Ooh! An heir? Marriage? Good? No personal unions? Sounds very good to me. Okay, I'm relieved now. I'm, I am relieved. That's that's good. Repent, I want to take this from you, but I can't because you're allied with Loonbury. Actually, no, I can. What am I talking about? I can totally take that from you. Um, I mean, if anyone cares about it. Does anyone care about it? Hey. You guys, do you, you guys care if I take this? Um, the closest person to me, being Jellera, does not entirely care if I take one province. I mean, if that's how it is. If it really be like that. Uh, let me check my rivals. Not my rivals. Um, Brabant. Okay, let's 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 click it this way. Uh, Brabant, Brabant, Brabant. Four thousand. Literally nothing. Loomberg. Six thousand. Okay, where's Loomberg? Gotta you know make sure things aren't gonna go terribly. Wow, you have three provinces somehow. I thought you were one province minor, which I think you start out as. Okay, what we could do is sort of leave people to sit on Brabant for a little while. 
Then deal with Loonberg, because I don't want Burban to keep making men. That would suck. They can quickly, you know, get out of hand. So we'll deal with them first, sit on them for a little while, make sure they don't, you know, become a problem, and then deal with Loonberg. That's the plan. It also means we're going to want to get to full. You know, get our maximum number of people. Speaking of which, can we make any more? No. That's fine. We have a fair amount of manpower. We can use that to our advantage. Is it a big of an issue? No. Okay, I think we're fine. Okay, let's start the war. We're going to keep moving. We actually have two forts, which is kind of odd, actually. Now, I don't know where they are. Oh, they're right there. Oh, they're building up men because they have the forts. I feel dumb now. So they can afford to build up men because of forts. Okay, that's fine because we can build up men too. Build up three. It'll bring us over a little bit, but that's important for later on. Oh, they're not need to get that against Jelra again. No, actually, it's not important right now. Um, if we can entice them to attack us, actually. 114, 313. We have better maneuver. Actually, no, it's not worth it. Getting them to attack us is probably not worth it. They have 7,000. They're probably going to move up to 11,000 fairly soon. The only way we're going to survive is just keeping uh, numbers advantage, really. And as long as Lundberg does not get access through Oldenburg and Bremen, I think we'll be okay. Lundberg does not have access yet. So we can siege down this, you know, hopefully. Oh, oh okay. Camera moved. That's fine. We get three men stacked up here. Um, they're probably not going to release their fleet because of our massive fleet just sort of looming over them. Uh, how many people don't need to be six, 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 okay, that means we can bring back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, good. Hold on, no, uh, that's not what I want. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay, that's what I want. I want to keep the cavalry there. If they think they can beat us, then they'll attack. And we can hopefully reinforce. And at the same time, we are not wasting our manpower. Yes, okay, that's what I'm going to use to justify the fact that I'm not sending all my men over there. Also, looting. You know, looting's fun. I like to loot things. Even though that is the province I'll be taking, so that's going to be devastation I don't want, but in the end, it's that's what I need. Actually, it's no, I don't actually need that. Okay. There's looting, but then there's, you know, not looting, just sort of sitting here. Let's do that then. Transfer trade power. I don't understand why any player would ever accept that. I don't think anyone ever does. So I don't know why it's ever an option. Oh, Loonberg just got the military access they needed. Through there and there. That sucks, dude. Okay. Got to keep a little bit of an eye out. Uh, we're going to have to... If we take Antwerpen... Antwerpen... I don't know what... Uh, you know, what Dutch sounds like, but if we manage to take this, we can head over to Brabant. Hopefully slaughter them. Hopefully. Or we can move people over, deal with Lundberg, and then, I don't know, something like that. So is it worth it for us to slaughter them? Maybe. Probably. We can send our guys over there. They popped our fleet out, which sucks. Uh, we're going to move these ships into there, too. They'll help out a little bit, but not much. The main point was to get rid of their fleet and get those ships to safe the safety. Then we're going to move them back over and just keep on going. Uh, yeah, go to Lubeck. That's fine. These guys need to be safer, so let's move them down to Zealand, actually. We're just less likely for them to be attacked. We won't get a crossing penalty. That's how the theory goes, at least. We have 5,000 more troops. I would be more comfortable with more troops, but... Um, do we have a morale bonus? Plus 10%. Giving us 4. Okay, I think we might end up being able to beat them just with morale. 
Um, Brave Man does a leader. Oh, uh, the next mill tech? Do they? No. No. They would have the next mill tech. Oh my god, they have the next mill tech. They took it early. Oh god, no. I should have been paying attention. Maybe morale bonus will carry us through. Morale bonus, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Looks like it. Okay, morale bonus carried us through, but that was not a fun thing to experience. Okay, we definitely could have lost that. Definitely could have lost that, and I'm glad we didn't, but we could have, and I don't like that. Okay, now we can go deal with Loonberg, but we have one guy over there, so they can't make more men. Okay, this... We can we can, we can can win this, obviously, now. Now, separate piece Loonberg out for a little bit of money. You know, the money we're going to be spending on keeping a higher maintenance of troops. I mean, we can, we can do that. Eight, two... One that brings us with ten when we can make eleven troops. No, hold on. Eight and two is ten. Eleven. Okay, I'm done. Never mind. We're back to our force on the end. That's all we need, actually. So I don't care about them owning stuff. I just want to go and you know get that over with. Keep them back behind. So they can't make mercenaries because they would do that if I had if they had the chance to. So they have 6,000 troops and we have 8,000. Don't want to do anything dumb right now, though. So we're just going to chill here. Wait for these guys to be done, then bring them back over. Then after they're over, we can sort of continue, I guess. That sounds like an idea to me. Okay, so let's move these guys over. Oh, do I not have... Did I just lose military access? Excuse me. Oh, no, I didn't. of Lundberg, isn't it? That's crazy. Um, don't have access to Brunswick. What do you mean I don't have access to Brunswick? Of course I have access to Brunswick. Maybe I don't. That's weird. Okay. Fine then. Uh, one more day. There you go. Let's bring them over. It's, it's whatever. High income. Construction cost. Construction time decrease. We could build buildings at some point. Yeah, it would be not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Please, can I... I have military access. Oh my god. This is so tiring. They cancelled their military access because they didn't need it, but actually I need it still, so... Please? Maybe? Hold on. Where are your troops? 6,000. Where are your troops? We have access through. Bohemia, ever through Brunswick? Yes. Munster, Brunswick, not Cologne. Hess, no. Where would you have gone? I don't think you can manage to get down there, though. I was wondering maybe you sort of wrapped your way around, but I don't think you did. I don't think you did, so that's fine. In theory, it'll be fine. I mean, all I really want to take from Rebound is Breda, right? So they won't hit us that much. And Coalition will be a lot of people. Oh my god, yeah, it's a lot of people. Okay, we're going to have to wait a little while. Wait for that uh, to tick down a bit before we make our way over. You know, before we grab that, because that would be terrible. So what we're going to do is uh, take that off. Split off. Uh, this guy's going to stay there because he has the siege. I think he's a siege, right? He has no siege. Okay, I'm done. Never mind. Can't fix it now, though. <sighs> Lundberg, please just give up. Just give me money and we'll be fine. Literally just a couple of ducats. You know, we could be chill. We can be good friends. But I mean, if you need me to, to crush you, then I'll do it. But if I don't need to, then I'll happily not. There you go. There goes your only ship. Um, who am I blockading? Oh, Rebels, that's not a problem. Let's just keep going, I guess. Slightly damaged. Hopefully that is, you know, what you're doing. I don't think it generally is. But whatever. 33, they would accept a truce or a peace, but they won't give me money. I want your money, please. I would very much like to have your ducats. Okay, speed 5 for siege. I don't know where their army is, actually, which is worrying because I do have a zero stack over there. Yeah, this is actually really worrying. I don't know where they are. Hopefully they're just like hiding somewhere, I don't know, over there. 
Threat war with anyone else? Poland. War with Poland. Okay, so hopefully you're just going to get crushed over there. Never mind, you're not going to get crushed, crushed over there because Hungary and the Teutons are actually taking chunks out of Poland as well as Bohemia. Okay. It's always a good start when you see the PLCs getting crushed. Well, we're actually just Poland because they didn't take the PLC. That's what happens when you don't take the PLC, Poland. You get crushed every single game I play. Every game, Poland, you get crushed with any when you don't take the PLC. It sucks because Poland would have been a good ally in the late game. Or the mid game, maybe. Brabant, yeah, I don't care. I don't care, Brabant. I just need your ally to, to give up. And then we can do business. But for now, I, I don't I don't need to do business with you. Oh my god, please. Okay, finally. Wonderful, you guys are at medium. I don't care, you'll give me money. Nice, you'll give me warps. Nice, you will stop being friends with people. Like... Bohemia, maybe? Brabant? Mm, maybe Saxony as well? Augsburg seems fine. I could make you release Verdun. That would cost me Diplo, but I don't want to, though. Also make you give that back. To uh, Mecklenburg. For five ducats less. I mean, I don't care if you're, you know, friends with Augsburg that much, but weakening you sounds like a deal to me. Okay, Limburg, that is your punishment for existing. Congratulations. Now we're going to head back over there. Decrease that. We're going to give ourselves... and oh, no, we're fine. Uh, Mothball Forts, yeah, it's whatever. And we're going to send the guys over there. And when we get there, we're going to split four off. Three. Three off is fine. Uh, oh, production efficiency. That's not a problem, though. We don't make much off production anyway. Split three guys off. Send them over there. Uh, I think we'll do this. I mean, can we make buildings right now? Can we do anything with buildings? Yeah, we can make trade and stuff. Yeah, that's important. Okay, so what we're going to do... Take high income. There you go. We can build some buildings, like trade, for significantly less, I think. Yeah, 81 ducats is much, much better. There you go. Two of those. We're going to take... One taxation. One more building would be nice, like, even if it's something... Dumb that we don't need. Like, I don't know. Yeah, no, okay, never mind. There's nothing I'm really willing to spend on. We can also, you know, sort of decrease our maintenance about to half, maybe. Low maintenance, yeah, it's fine. Oh, Mecklenburg's gonna attack Lundberg. After they just got Wis uh, Wismar back. Mm-hmm, okay. Whatever. So you guys are repairing at the right speed, right? Reinforcing, I mean... I mean, it looks like it. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so we're going to stay here on speed 5, actually, because this is going to take so long if we don't. Um, the Vondermark. Hmm. We can avoid indebting ourselves, or we can get a trader. We don't need traders. I think we're fine. We're going to get Brabant. We're not going to get Brabant. We're going to get stuff from... We're going to get Breda. Maybe another one if we can. I don't think we can, though, because that aggressive expansion is going to be way too high for us. Definitely too high, I think. Um, this will be just gel right. If I take this... Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, no. If I take the whole thing, then... That's basically the entirety of Europe. That's... Not gonna happen, so... War reps. Um... Trade power, maybe? Do you guys have a trade thing? You guys do have a trade thing. Actually, this doesn't seem bad. Transfer trade power will just give me the trade power that you have. And you do have quite a lot in uh, Antwerp, so... Yep, okay, we're going to do that then. Once this is done, obviously. It's going to take a little while, and then we have to end the episode off, because, man, it's been a little bit longer than I'd like it to be. So we're going to have to put a little bit of a cut in here. Right after we finish this. Okay, we're good. Can we take anything else? I mean, I'd like to. Give up claims in... Uh, something, maybe. Liege? I don't know. England? How do you have claims in England? How do you have claims in England? That's crazy. Yeah, I don't understand that. Oh, right, because England's right there, Clay, and you are technically right next to England. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, give up your stuff in Liege, I guess. I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, small coalition of literally just Yelra, so... Nice. Just like that. 
Thank you for your wonderful province, looming disaster, civil war, because we have overextension, at least 10%. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, yes, give me that. Thank you. We're looking okay. We can decrease our, our maintenance all the way down. Okay, are we good? I think we're good. We can mop all these guys again, maybe? There you go. Uh, we don't need to take that yet, and we're not going to. What does that do? Regiment cost decrease? Wonderful. That sounds good to me. Alrighty, we have a fair amount of money. We're making some buildings. Uh, we've grown by quite a little bit of development. What do we have? 124, and we start off at like, what, 81? So I think we're actually getting there pretty, you know, pretty up there. In development. We can't be vassalized anymore, so that's good at least. We are one province away from having what we need to form the Netherlands in the future. So, it's going to take a little while to get there, but, you know, it's comforting at least. Nothing absolutely terrible has happened to us yet, so that's good. Oh, we need Breda. Oh, right, core. Yeah, okay, we have Breda. Uh, we just need to core that up, and I think we have to put in a cut in right here. I hope you guys have had a fantastic time. Oh, man. The exact same time that I've been playing the Netherlands game, I've been also playing a Papal State game, which has been super duper fun, and I hope you guys are having fun with this one as much as I am playing it. So, I'm going to have to catch you guys in the next one, and as always, have a fantastic day.